everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. SMT Nation, we back. We're here testing the AT&T network. We're in Berea, Ohio. This is a site that I think I may have tested in the past. But I'd say it's been a while and we've probably got some bandwidth upgrades. So this is actually a site that AT&T owns and actually built and constructed themselves. It's one of the few that I've been able to identify just by looking at the fencing in the area. It's got like AT&T branding on the fence. Usually it's American Tower or Crown Castle that builds these sites. In this case... AT&T built this and, it, and they own it. So let me show you guys what's going on up here. All right, so uh, what you see with those smaller antennas, they have got integrated radios. The top one is the C-band and the bottom, or how does it go? DOD's at the top and then C-band's at the bottom. And then down below that, that's interesting. That's, that's AT&T as well. This whole thing is AT&T, I think. You know, that the, the antenna you see there on the bottom rack on the left I do see Verizon using those here, but Verizon has a macro like three quarters of a mile away. I don't think they need this, and they got small cells everywhere here. Anyways, this site serves the um, it serves the the Browns Praxis facility in Berea. This is a neighboring cell to the airport sites. So what I want to do is we're we're kind of like in line of sight. It's pointing right at us. I just want to test the throughput with the upgrades with the bandwidth. You know, with A block, you know, getting cleared, or excuse me. Uh, a block that AT&T was using before going back to Verizon and then AT&T clearing their entire B and C block We now have 80 megahertz of N77 So I just want to test the site now that we got like double the bandwidth. It was previously 40 megahertz of C band, but they also launched, you know, DOD, which is another 40 megahertz So right now I'm connected to 80 megahertz of N77, but it's just C band. It's not DOD All right, 589 down 40 up 25 ping one jitter and then 152 and 124 for the download and upload latencies. Uh, let's see if we got any packet loss or if there's any trouble with the connection. Looks fine to me. All right, looks good. Uh, I think we actually might be kind of close to the site, to be honest with you guys. Maybe we're too close, actually. I mean, we're, we're really close. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys the tower. It's a good tower. It works, functions very, very well. Uh, performance looks really good, uh, but this is shockingly AT&T has become the faster network in Cleveland <laughs> than Verizon and then sometimes even T-Mobile even though they have like half the bandwidth uh, But it's performing great. They've got a, a nice tower grid uh, You know everything is is pretty much modernized and upgraded and it's performing great 639 down and about 40 on the up here 38 37 megabits 68 ping, 20 jitter, 157, 155 download and upload latency. Uh, let's go ahead and test the. Um, let's go ahead and test the nperf. Let's check out the quality of the connection. We are on NSA. All right, so you will see it says NSA 5G down there. All right, I'll fast forward for you guys and we'll see how it does. What type of point score and all the different metrics here? Uh, video resolution, playback, and web browsing, streaming, and all that. All right, so the testing is done, and we got a pretty good result here. 656 down, 58 up, 28 millisecond ping. We got an 82% for browsing, a 91% for streaming, and a 135,612 endpoint score. Looks good, folks. Uh, very, very nice testing results. Uh, don't want to forget about LTE, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the LTE mode, and we're going to run the same thing. We're going to do a speed test with Ookla, and... Then we're going to do the nperf. Should be good. I Typically, AT&T's LTE network is a really good experience. You'll notice it says 5GE. This is not a 5G connection, folks. This is a 5-carrier aggregation LTE setup. Lots of bandwidth. You know, you got good fiber to a site and stuff like that, which I, 
I would estimate based on the results, folks, we were probably restricted to a one gig backhaul. Uh, hopefully AT&T can boost it up to 10 gig in the near future, and then uh, we can get more throughput capacity, you know, just to get the most out of your network, right? 41 ping, five jitter. Uh, we got 556 and 169 on the loaded latencies and 145 down and 42 up. Really nice LT results. Let's go ahead and put this sucker through the nperf test and see how it does. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this for you guys and we'll see you on the other side. Alright folks, results look decent. Browsing came in at 78%, streaming came in at 96%. A total endpoint score of 109,000, 214 down, 47 up with a 45 ping. All right, that's uh, that's pretty good. This this is very consistent with what I'm seeing now between the LTE and the 5G+, plus, especially with that N77 now having 80 megahertz of it, of the, uh, the entire portfolio of the C-band. We don't see the iPhone aggregating the 40 megahertz of DoD, but the performance is good nonetheless. I probably will be upgrading to... Um, a phone that could do the entire aggregation here shortly. I'm going to do some dish testing soon too, and that connects to AT&T's network when the dish native isn't isn't there. So maybe we could test that as well. Actually, no, I can't. That's the S22. I can't do that testing. Uh, but anyways, tell me what you guys think of my testing, how this tower site is performing here. What is the AT&T network like for you? Maybe specifically you're seeing the 80 megahertz of C-band going live in your market. You got an iPhone. You got a Galaxy. Tell me about it in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.